Hey, hey friends, happy Monday. It's Grace here. I am here. I am here. Oh my gosh, why does it look so dark? <laughs> what is going on there? Hi guys. I'm here. Even if I'm a, a tish late, I am so sorry. I hope you weren't waiting for too long. We're going to make a little, um, <clears throat> a little book out of some scraps. I have no idea. My screen is so dark. And I don't know what is going on there. I better check and see what it looks like for you on Facebook. Is that incredibly dark for you? Like, what is going on? Whoo, I've turned that light on and that is really bright now. <laughs> We're going to find a happy medium. We don't want to blind Grace while she's trying to do some crafting. And yet we want you to be able to see who is crafting. <clears throat> Let's see. This is not what I want right here. Good gravy. You guys see me? Hey, Janet. Happy Monday, my darling. Hey, Andrea. How are you? Missy, hello. I see you guys. Hello, hello, everybody. Hmm. Why is the screen so dark? Let's see if we can find it. If Facebook... Yeah, here. I found the, the live feed. Why is... Oh, we don't need to hear it twice. Oh, I think it's back to normal. Hey, Susan. Welcome, welcome, first timer. Welcome to The Comfy Nest with Grace. My name is Grace. I live up in North Dakota, if you don't know. And I love to do paper crafting. Uh, I love to do all kinds of crafting, but I love to use up things that I already have rather than buying new stuff. Although I do buy new stuff. I mean, I think new cra crafters just, we can't resist sometimes the pretty papers that come out and the pretty like things like, oh my gosh, this is a chipboard set. This was the craft kit for uh, May that we did here on the page. Um, we made this little block photo keepsake. These are my kids on here and I have one spot left for me and my hubby and it came with the, all the things that you needed to make that. Now I have a lot of that stuff left over from that kit. So those of you who bought the May kit, this is another idea of what you could do with your leftovers. So here you got a couple of um, sheets of cardstock. One of them was double-sided and looked like that for making the block. And the other one had these cute little phrases on them. And of course, we don't want this stuff to go to waste, though like it's partially used. So we're gonna make a little book out of the scraps. That's what we're doing today. Hey, Estella, how are you, dear? I am coming to you live for Craft Around the Clock. Um, that is a free group here on Facebook that you can join if you want to kind of follow along with lots of different creative business owners who um, take turns going live. Monday through Friday, every 45 minutes, somebody comes on live sharing some inspiration. So it's my turn. So thanks for hanging out with me here. If you're coming in to uh, this video, whether it's the replay or the live from Craft Around the Clock, give me a shout out and let me know that to all my regular crafty chicks who usually hang out with me. Welcome back. I was live with you guys this morning and here we go again. So I'm gonna grab my cutter. It's like way down here. You guys, it, you're gonna see, I always have to like get contorted to find all my supplies around me because my space is so small. So I have gotten probably like a lot of you very creative with where to put all the things <laughs> so that we can uh, we can do the best we can here creating and crafting. I'm gonna cut these down. I think they're each four by four. So I'm gonna cut them down to those sizes and that's gonna be, those are gonna be our book pages and we're gonna do a tab binding today. Oh, first I need to cut off like the UPC code because it's kind of mucking up the, the sizing here. Hold on here. Let's get that off first. I can't even get the paper into the cutter with that there. So what, 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 why are you acting funny? Okay, we're going to do this. We needed to cut a tish more off. So let's do that one more time. There we go. All right, now Let's see what we got. We're going to make it work, girls. We're going to make something fun out of it. Hi, Diana. Hey, Lynette. Welcome, welcome. You love seeing me create paper crafts? Well, thank you, my friend. I love creating paper crafts, and I love having company. I love to chit-chat and share. So um, thank you for being here. I'm trying to find the best way. I like to be able to see. So on your cutting board, you know, this is the line where the blade runs probably hard for you to see from where you are, but it extends beyond where the paper would sit. And I like to see that line that goes beyond the paper up here. I'm going to match it up with the line that I'm trying to cut. 
And down here, I'm gonna match it up with the line that I'm trying to cut to make sure I really, ooh, I think I just cut myself. Make sure I get a really straight line there. Let's see how sharp my blade is. I touched my finger <laughs> onto the blade. <laughs> it's, it's a boo-boo. Gracie got a boo-boo, it's okay. If it doesn't start bleeding profusely, we'll be good. Otherwise, I'll make a makeshift Band-Aid. I actually did this um, recently, cut myself with that blade on camera and had to make a makeshift Band-Aid. So now I'm starting to think maybe I just need to have Band-Aids here in my craft space. All right, see what we're doing? We're just going to cut out all these little squares. Yeah, we need a Band-Aid. Oh, jeez Louise. It's a good thing we got lots of tissue and we got lots of tape here. We got paper and we got tape which means we're gonna get a clean towel here. And I'm gonna cut a little, I'm gonna make myself a makeshift Band-Aid. So that's something you're learning that maybe you haven't seen before. I guess it's the way they did it in the old days. I only need the tiniest little piece of cloth, but I need um, a bigger piece of tape. So, go into the craft stash and find, ah, oh, let's use this. Duct tape always holds well and it's pretty. So let's use this for my finger. Oh, girls, we're making a pretty Band-Aid. Jeez Louise, I was watching somebody. Who was who were we watching during the Junk Journal Jamboree? One of the girls, I can't remember who it was, cut their finger. And I was like, oh, that just stinks while you're trying to create and you cut yourself. That's the worst. <laughs> Sorry, it doesn't hurt at all, thankfully. It's just a nuisance, right? We don't want to get yuckies all over our, our new project. I'm gonna make sure I wipe everything off and we're covering it all up. Now I have a totally covered up thumb. Now this, we'll just get rid of that. Okay, here we go again. There's no residual stuff anywhere. We're gonna finish up. So have you ever done a booklet with a tab binding? That would be the question. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you. Um, I teach this inside my membership group. We have done tab bindings in the past. Um, in fact, there was a whole month where we focused on tab binding. So if you wanted to really get it down in terms of being a, you know, really good at it, I haven't done it actually in a long time. That's the thing. When you find lots of techniques and ways to create, then if you're like me and you love to do lots of different techniques and ways, I like to change things up. So I don't always do tab bindings, but when I want to do a tab binding, it's really kind of fun to do it that way. I was trying to figure out a way because most of the time when I use these kind of panels to make books, I'll just cut out two that are appropriate for the cover in the back and then I'll fold it in half and that will be the cover for my book. And then we can sew or tape into the little booklet all the pages. But this is another way to bind your book together that you may or may not have seen before. Okay, so we have all our little cards here that will make up our little book. I have a couple of extras here, but they're a little too small. These were cut a little small. They were cut for the block project. So we'll work them into the book probably, but to make the pages of the book, we're gonna, we're gonna start with what we have left here, all of these. Um, let's see, I just got to go, I was just gonna go rewatch You Make a Tab Book. Gia, well, here we are. Hey, Lois and Vermont, I have not seen you in a while. So good to see you. Hey, Carolyn. And Tony Lynn is here. Um, like you can even create band-aids, right, Lynn? Sometimes you just got to. <laughs> oh, goodness. So welcome to everybody who's here, whether you're here from, oh, there's Tracy Campbell. Hey, Tracy. Whether you're here from Craft Around the Clock or if you're here, you know, just you just happen to come across it and you want to hang out with us, we're thrilled to have you. Thrilled to have you hanging out with us. Okay, so this is all double-sided paper, so that's really nice. It's cardstock, so it'll hold up well. It's double-sided, and each of the other sides have a little panel on it. So we just have to decide which panel do we want to be on the front of our book. So let me just... Um, this one's kind of cute. That's really cute. That's, like, actually really great for um, the fact that it's, like graduation time. <laughs> All right, let's put Hello Beautiful Friend on the front. And then um, I'm going, you don't, so if I kept them all with these panels in the front, then they'll, they're all gonna be exactly the same with a panel to the right 
and this, you know, this other decorative paper to the left. You don't have to do it that way. You could change it up so that when you flip it open, they're not all that way. Like you could turn this one so that you get two of those decorative panels to decorate. And then when you flip this page, those could be together. I mean, you, you can, you can design it however you want. I do kind of like to look at it and make a decision. Like I probably, that would be a really nice back for my book where it would be a really great, great um, page for taking notes. So let's see if there's something else I would want on the back. Let's do the, I feel like the B almost doesn't match the rest of the stuff for some reason. I think I'm gonna put the B on the back of the book. So before you start taping things down, just kind of make a decision on what you want where. Okay, so that'll be the front, that'll be the back, and then we'll just, whatever, wherever it ends, that's just fine for the sake of time. Okay, what I already did before we got on camera so that you wouldn't have to watch me do something really mundane and boring <laughs> is I already took, we're gonna tape these all together. It's called a tab binding, and I grabbed three um, if this is a, a set of washi tape. It came in like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten colors, but it's all looks like graph paper. If you can see that, it looks like eh. it just has little squares on it, like little check marks. So it looks like graph paper. And I took a couple of, holy, I'm really making a mess here. I took a couple of strips of that and put it down on my cutting board because I need a lot of tape and it really is best not necessary but if you, especially if you have a linear brain and you like things to be super like precise, it's best to do your cutting. Like I like to lay my tape out and then take my ruler. So what I did when I was offline, I took my ruler and I measured each piece and I used my cutting knife and I cut them all so that I have lots of pieces. So I'm a little tweezer here to help me. Lots of pieces that are half inch by three quarter inch. Okay, these are gonna make the tabs that hold the whole thing together, okay? It is washi tape, so it is not permanent stick, so it's a good idea to reinforce that glue. I'll probably just use my glue stick for that because that's what's easiest. So we got that out and ready to go. Thanks for sprinkling, Jeannie, I appreciate you so much. Hi girls, thanks for everybody coming in. There's Stephanie, hello Kathy. You've been getting, you're busy getting ready for Relay for Life, Lois. Good for you. It is the season for that, isn't it? Tell me, is really, remind me. I've done Relay for Life before, but I haven't, it's been a couple of years. Um, is it the same day all over the place or is it just throughout the month of June or how, how is that scheduled for those of you doing it? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You know, the book is going to be bound together here on this side. So all of my tape pieces have to be connected on this side. So I'm going to start adding those tabs. Do, Melissa says, I don't know if you've been told this before, but you look so much like Barb from the Shabby Trees, daughter, Joy. I have never heard that before. Like when she was a little older, she will look like you. I swear. Anyone think so? Melissa, that is so fascinating. I don't know that I know what Joy looks like, but now I will go look her up. <laughs> I'll go try to find her. Oh gosh, that's funny. That is so funny. There's my friend Christy. All right, so all of my friends who are coming on board with us um, from their business pages. So it doesn't have like a like a you know person like your person's name like Lois Vitagliano. Well, Christy's here from Create with Christy. She does hand lettering designs, um, and she does a lot of work with the iPad. So if you're trying to master the iPad with hand lettering and doodling and things like that, she's your chick to follow. So for all those creative business people who are coming in from your um, business pages. Thank you for doing that. I, I think it's glorious because we're just sharing each other's pages and, and getting to know who's out there. And I would highly encourage any of you, if you're curious or interested, to click on their business name or just click on the follow button and just go ahead and follow. Um, there's Jeannie. She says, I'm here from Clif Clifton's Crafty Casa. Oh, Cynthia says, I look like Joy with brown hair. I'm going to have to look up this Joy, girls. I'm going to have to look her up. Okay, I have to remind myself. So we're going to be gluing or taping these down to each other like this. So what I usually start, okay, one, I'm going to, okay, first thing first. We're going to put tape all along the side. Oh, you know what might be easier if I show you one that's already done? 
Hang tight. <laughs> I'm going over here. Hang tight, girls. All right. This one is already done. This is a junk journal I made with scraps. And I did this tab binding. What I love about the tab binding is it's really flat right here. So no matter where you open the book to do, like if you're going to decorate the book or doodle on it or sketch or practice your hand lettering because you're in Christie's class, wh whatever way you open it, it's going to lay down nice and flat on your surface. Um, so I love the way the binding looks. And if I, if I pull it apart just a little, if I put a little bit of pressure on that, you can see where all the tabs of um, tape are. And even inside, because I, I really like to see the tabs of tape. See right here, that's tape. And right there, tape. So this one has two on it. So every other page you're gonna do um, two pieces of tape, three pieces of tape, two pieces of tape, three pieces of tape, and you're gonna stick it together that way. There is a, there's a method and a system to this, probably to, a little too involved to try to get real detailed with it here. But like I said, I teach it in the Craft Therapy Club, so if you're a member in there, you can just go to that month, that whole month where I focused on this, and I teach you exactly how to do this. So FYI, those of you who are members. I love journaling, but I never made one. I'm scared. Oh, Melissa, don't be scared. It's so fun. And you know what is so glorious about it for me, I really do, really do love, is um, the fact that we get to use what we already have. Like, of course, you can always buy new stuff. I'll never hold anybody back from that. But if you're trying to use up the stash that you have, it's such a glorious thing to be able to use up your stash making pretty things. I'm, I'm about to get really sticky in here because... Whenever I use my fingers to put things into my, this is a really, really sticky, permanent glue stick that I love. And it's got a really big um, applicator there. So when I'm doing a little project like this, it stands up really well on its own. And I can dip my project right into that and get the glue that I need for my project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three pieces of tape and I, I eyeball it. I try. I'm going to I'm going to put three on and I'm going to show you here. Let me get this done. Um, I don't want that hitting the table, so I'm going to hang it off my board. I try to keep them even, but if you've hung out with me for any length of time, you know, I don't get worked up about measuring things or being super precise because it just, it stresses me out, to be honest with you, and I don't want to be stressed when I create. The reason I create is for fun. So I don't mind if my tape placement is a little wonky. Now, for those of you who, like my sister Kathy, that would drive her crazy. If something was a little crooked or if they weren't precisely <laughs> in the same place on all the pages, I don't think she would like that. That would kind of irritate her. But so see, like I'm placing three tabs of tape on these and I've evenly placed them and I evenly placed the tape so that when I wrap it around, Half of it's on this side and half of it's on the other side. So you want to evenly place it both horizontally and vertically as best you can. As an eyeball, I don't, I just don't, um, I don't measure. I don't mark things up. I don't care. It just doesn't doesn't bother me in the least. I used to be a, I call myself a recovering perfectionist. I used to get super worked up about, oh, it's not straight. And that would bug me and I don't let it bug me anymore because hallelujah, free yourself from that perfectionism and just have fun with your projects. Don't worry. No one is getting, I'm sure most of you are not getting paid. You know, you're not submitting your stuff to Hobby Lobby to sell it. Um, and the other thing is you're not getting paid to teach it like we are. Um, you're just, you're, you know, you're doing it for the fun of yourself. Like you're just doing it for fun. So just have fun with it. Stop worrying so much about it being super perfect. Okay, two tabs on the next sheet. I'll show you here what I, what I mean here in a minute. Um, let's see, I gotta make sure. So the one thing you do wanna do, you're gonna put three tabs on one page, two tabs on the other, and then you're gonna offset them. Three tabs on that page, two page on this, two, two on this side. But when you put them together, they need to not hit each other. <laughs> so it should look like that. Looks like post-it notes like sticking out right so it's gonna look like that so here's my cover so now what you do is I'm gonna put this down 
one on top of the other, just like I showed you, and I'm going to fold over just the three tabs, not the two tabs, just the threes, <laughs> just the threes. One, two, three, okay? Again, if this bugs you, be precise. I'm trying to show you how to do it so I'm not getting real worked up about super preciseness, like that's a little crooked right there. Like I could have placed that paper more perfectly, but it's okay. So see what I did? I All I did was I folded over the second sheet, just three of the tabs. Now we're gonna go on the two tabs. So I need another sheet because I just used two tabs. On this one goes three tabs. I know it sounds really confusing, but it's not hard to do at all. And if you if you need like super slow instruction, if you need, if you want, um, the supply list of what you need kind of written out, you would join my craft therapy club because all that stuff is in there. It's all in there, all ready to go. So you can take your time with the video instruction. It's all in a library. Ooh, I folded that over by accident. It's all in a library, ready to go for you. I put glue on one of these. Okay, now this one, this is this side, this is this side. So, all right. Where you put the tabs, like you want to put it on the side where you want to connect it to the binding, okay? You don't want to put it on um, on the other one, on the other side. So, what am I doing wrong here? I'm confusing myself. Oh, it has to go this way. That's why, Gracie. And my thumb is throwing me off because I feel like I can't use it, but I need it. My little poor thumb that I just cut. So, three tabs. This one has glue, this one has glue. I'll be super not precise so that we can show you how these pages are gonna come together. <laughs> super not precise. Hey, if you're super not precise, you found the right chick to hang out with, because <laughs> that's me. All right, so I put them on. I'm on the three tab. I'm gonna put it on top of the pile. This is where my book is that I'm making. I'm put it on top of the pile. Now, I'm back to my five tabs, and now I'm gonna turn in just the two tabs on the inside. Let's make sure they're all straight. We're just gonna flip the two ones on the inside over that new sheet. And what you see starts to happen is it binds all your pages together. And every other page will have three tabs, two tabs. Three tabs, and now we'll do, what did we just do? We just did a, so we need a two tab sheet. <laughs> I said, anybody counting how many times I said tabs today? Um, you put the, you put the tabs on the side that you want to connect to the binding on your binding side, I guess is the way to say it. If these are so fun to do. Has anybody else ever made, well, if you're in the craft therapy club, you very well may have made these tab books, tab binding books before, uh, because I teach it in there. Um, but has anybody else, anybody else out there ever made them before? I like to lay this down right here because I have my three tabs showing and then I know exactly where to put my two tabs so that they don't hit each other. Oops, stuck to my thumb. Between the tape here and the glue on my tape here, my thumb is having a, a hard time gripping on here. Okay, so now here's my main book. Cover down. Here's the new page that's going on. I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna put the three tab binding with the two tab binding. We're gonna put them together. I did it, I did it backwards, girls. I did it backwards. They have to go on this side. Otherwise my boba, my boba is gonna be upside down. Anybody else drink bobas? I actually don't drink them. Does anybody drink them? I've never had one. They look interesting though. Okay, I'm really messing myself up here today. It is upside down. Oh, good gravy girl. <laughs> the binding side, Gracie. You got this girl. And I want my sticky, every time I do this, I feel like I need to put more stick on it. So I want it to open this way. So the glue, the glue has to go over here. I really confused myself. 
it is more more than a challenge to not only show people online when you're not in the same room with someone <laughs> where they can't, you can't see it so close, um, but also to talk you through it and pay attention to the comments and pay attention to your time. It's, it's a big old stinking challenge, I'll tell you what. Okay, we're folding over three tabs, and then the next time we fold, we'll fold the two tabs. So every time you do it, you're connecting every other page with either three three tabs or two tabs. Whew. Boba tea is delicious. I've never had it. I want to try it. It sounds so interesting. Um, Laura, if you or June is asking, um, it's all all the tape that I'm using today is from the washi tape shop. And I do have a discount code to shop at the washi tape shop. If you go to my link tree, um, you'll be able to easily find that and... Let's see if I can just get you that link tree. Since you're asking, I'll just try to grab it for you right now. Can I quickly find it? That way, all my links in my link tree. Yeah, so my discount code for the washi tape shop and the shop itself where I got the tape that I'm using today is in that link that I just shared to you. Hey, Sharon, how are you, darling? Hey, hey, friend. Um, Jeanette, where is this in the craft therapy club? If you search um, tab binding, you'll find it, Jeanette, or if you go to the guides and just read through each of the project names and find the tab binding month. Um, if you can't find it, Jeanette, of course, ask either Jeanette or uh, um, ask Leanne or me and we will help you find it. I'm probably biting off more than I can chew by taking three at a time, but that's what I'm going to do. Actually, this one... Which side do I want here? I think I'll do it this way so that these two pages are together and the bike is on the other side like that. So that means I need three tabs on the underside of this. Oh, this stinking thumb is really throwing me for a loop. So who else has made them before? Have you ever seen them before? Maybe you've never even seen these tab binding books before. Um, when, you're, when you like to make books, and um, I teach how to do all kinds of book projects inside the club, uh, we, we do go over like a variety of ways to make them so that you don't get bored because it's kind of fun to do different things. And we have all kinds of supplies that we can use up, right? We don't have to keep using the same supplies. Let's use up this washi tape. Who else has a huge collection of washi tape beside me? I can't be the only one. Okay, so right here, I just put these two too close together. I'll show you. When I align all the papers up, look what happens to these two pieces of tape right there. They're just, they're touching, which is too close. It's too close. I need to move one of them over so that we can fold them over completely so that the binding works. There we go. Now they're not touching anymore. I have a huge gap right here. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> it's fine with me because I don't mind if my books aren't super uber perfect. But like I said, if you would rather not have crooked, wonky things, then you'd be more precise than me. You do you, girl. As I always say, you do you. Okay. This pretty little floral lined paper is going to come up next to the bike. And so I'm going to flip it this way. And that helps me keep straight that I need two tabs and where to line them up. You do the same MET PDF coloring book. Tanya, what does that mean? I do the same MET, M-E-T, PDF. I'm not sure what that means, sweetheart. Say it again in a different way so I, I can follow what you're getting at. Tab binding books are completely new to me, so I am hypnotized by this. Fabulous. And I'm so happy to introduce you. Listen, I am telling you, friends, there is a lot of stuff in the Craft Therapy Club um, that we do that you don't see because I do it for the paying members of the membership group. Okay, so we're, we're at the last page, okay? And I have two bindings here, two clips. So actuality, I'm not going to put any tabs on here because these last two little tabs are going to hold my last page in place. So you put your page where you want it. I don't need any more tabs. The, the tabs that I would put on this sheet 
would be holding the next page, but there is no next page. So we're just gonna take the back of the book and put it on there and line it up and then fold these over. And then look what we got. So check this out. So you'll be able to see in each little um, page, you'll see my two tabs, then you're gonna see three tabs. Then you're gonna see two tabs, and you should see three tabs. And they're not lined up. This is what I mean by like, this is totally cool with me. I am good with that. I do not need it to be uber perfect. You do you. <laughs> you do you, girl. Okay, so here we are on the last one. Here's the, the back cover. They all have the washi tape showing. I happen to love that because I love like seeing my supplies being used together to make something pretty. So even in this book that I made, I covered the pages to start decorating them and somewhat covered up the tape, but I don't want to cover up the tape completely. You could, you could come in once you've got the base of the book together and do something to cover up that tape, but I really like it showing. So I leave it all together showing in the book. Now, what some people will do, let me show you. I'm going to grab a different book over here. I, I got a roll. I got a roll. I'll be back though. I'm going to show you a different book that I made. This one has a lot. And you guys, I made, most of the time I make these out of just, I have a gazillion sheets of decorative scrapbook paper, 12 by 12 de decorative scrapbook paper. If you have a gazillion sheets, hit the like button or show me some hearts or whatever. Say so in the comments. This is all made out of scraps of decorative paper that I have had on hand for 20 years. I mean, I started scrapbooking when my kids were babies and I have so many papers that I don't know what to do with, especially the solids. I don't use solid co colors anymore. I use a lot more patterns now. So I went and cut them all the same size and then made this into a little book, which I love because it's card stock. So it's really hefty. I love that no matter where I open it, it's going to open flat on my table. So if I want to color in it, draw in it, sketch in it, um, glue book, um, glue magazine articles or glue pictures in it, I can do that very easily because it'll lay nice and flat. But what I wanted to show you is on this binding, on the outside you can see, I have covered the outside with washi tape. So you can see underneath there is the, the, the those are the tabs that I use to make the book. But then I took a decorative washi tape and I covered the entire binding so that it was not exposed with a, with a decorative, I have so much washi tape. Um, this one I did not cover. So this, this binding, I left it open, which is so cool to look at, but you can cover it with fabric. You can cover it with tape. You can cover it with another piece of paper. If you don't want to see those three tabs on your book like that, you could absolutely cover it with something else. My focus is to use up this stash that I got. So that's what I'm just going to keep working on. Vicki says I'm a paper hoarder. I go to my paper. I go to the paper first thing every time. <laughs> when you go to the store, you go to paper first. Well, when you, when you go into the Michaels that's closest to me, which is 90 miles away, but when I go into that Michaels, and I don't know if it's the same on every at every Michaels, but the paper is always right there. It's like r the first thing that you see. <laughs> oh, Tony says she's liking this. Good. It's fun to introduce you to new stuff, you guys. It is fun. If you're loving what you see, if you're like, someone said, I'm kind of mesmerized by this. Um, be sure to follow the page. I would love to have your company more often when I'm creating and sharing. Um, you can cut, Stephanie, you can cut these books as big or as small as you want. I think these ones I did three and a half by four and a half. These ones, I just cut the book page that you, you saw the cardstock. I just cut these into that they're four by four. They just came in that one big 12 by 12 sheet with all these four by four panels. So I just cut them just the way they were on the paper. And then what you can do, and you can, like I had all these decorative pages, but if you just had lots like I did in here, if you had lots of um, just plain paper that you don't know what to do with, you could do every other sheet in plain cardstock just to use up the stash that you have for, for sure. So anyway, I have all of this stuff left over from that little project, the, the block project that we did with the little photos of my kids. This was the craft kit for 
May, the June craft kit just was released this week. So if you're interested in doing a chat craft kit with me live during late night crafting on Tuesday, June 20th, um, you can do it live with me or you can catch up later and do the video recording, but the craft kits are available now in the shop. And just a reminder, Craft Therapy Club members, don't forget to use your code if you want to order one. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to see if I can fit, you know, I have these extra little panels here. Let's use them up. I mean, this page, this first page that I open up to has just two of the same paper. So I could glue this in here just um, as something decorative. And let me see what time, how, what, how, we have about nine minutes. Um, it would be fun to just frame that with another solid color, if I could find one. I followed your page. I definitely want to know more. Only discovered washi tape about two months ago, so I'm a real newbie. And washi tape can be such a great supply to have in your stash. And when you have it, I love to find ways to use it. And we have some projects inside that group that could really help you with the washi tape using it up. Yeah, I love these books too, Stephanie. They're, one of, they're some of my favorite books to work on. Right? Ursula says most of us probably have enough paper stash to open our own store. <laughs> and, and Amber says, I have a gazillion times a bazillion. <laughs> That's really cute. Okay, look, so this is matching paper. This is all left over. I could use this to make a little frame for our birdie, or at least, let's see, I, it's all scraps, girls. It's all scraps of paper. What if we just did, framed out a couple of the corners like that? Because the idea is to use up what you got. It's to use up what you got. And actually, I forgot that I had cut off, look at the bottom, the bless this nest part. I kind of cut that off right there. Mm, I could, I could just cut that off. I don't know, I don't know how bad it would bother you. We could cut that off completely and just show the birdhouse. Well, I got to go a little bit more. This is what I mean by I eyeball. I do not, I'm not a measurer. Rubber, rubber. I don't measure. <laughs> That's another way to say that. Oh, I just found out, girls, that I just got a message from the Mayo Clinic that Gannon is going to start a new medication and that I got to get him to the clinic for some testing. All right, so that's just quite lovely all by itself, right? So now we can put this on here and feel a little better about it being that way. And I think I'm just going to cut... Oh, maybe I don't even need to cut. Maybe I can just take a couple of these scraps and layer them. I don't want to lose. I'm such a frugal fanny. <laughs> I don't want to lose any paper. Like, I don't, I could frame it like this. It reminds me of a picnic with, the, with that check paper. But I think what I could do is cut this. I'm so frugal. I'm going to cut this um, to make two triangles. And that can be... That can be my um, my frame for this little for the little birdies. So I'm putting. I know it looks funny, but I'm putting one point of the paper here. It doesn't matter what size it is. If I put one point of the paper there on the line where the cutter is going to go, and the other point here, it's going to slice this right in half at whatever angle it is. Because I don't do geometry or triangles, but I can use my cutting board to cut that from corner to corner so that it makes two equally sized little triangle frames. And then I don't have to use two pieces. I can, because, you know, I'm so conservative, I'm gonna try to conserve that other paper and use it somewhere else, somewhere else in the book. Okay, so now I can glue these all down and at least it has a little bit more um, variety in there. Where's my glue gun? Thanks, Tony Lynn. Hey, Julie, how are you, dear? Thanks for being a Facebook supporter. I can see she has a little teal heart next to her name, just like Diana Perry does and Vicki Dooley and Stephanie Dillette and all you girls. Delatte, Dillette. Joyce has the little heart. The, all those girls who have that little teal heart next to their name, it means that they are, um, they are Facebook subscribers. And we've been getting together. That group of people, they... On Facebook, they go to the subscriber hub 
and they sign up and they support the page. I don't collect stars, but they um, support the page by paying $1.99 plus tax every month. And then um, every other week, now this summer, what we're doing to get together is we're doing happy hour on my deck. <laughs> I get together with them every other Friday and I'm reading The Flower Letters, a series of, um, it's like a storybook told in letters. Um, we're reading that together and we just hang out and get to know each other a little better. And I thank them immensely for supporting the page. So thank you for that. I also do a couple of times a year, I do a challenge, an art challenge with them where I give them a project or like a template or something and say, your challenge is just to use this template in a project and share it. And when they do that, they get, the, they get entered to win um, Amazon gift cards. So that's kind of fun. We do things like that together. I love to be able to... Um, give back to you guys for supporting the page. It, it means so much to me. Oh, you know what I could do? I was looking for something else, like I'm gonna put this in here, but I was looking for something else to put behind. That actually would be really cute. This is just cardstock. It's just like chipboard cardstock. And if I put that in there, it just adds something to break up a little bit the page and the thing is um, it, it's pulling out the brown color of the the little birdhouse so let me get this in there and then I'll show it to you and then we're just about done let's see I started at 215 yeah so we're just about done um, I do this backwards guys because I want to make sure I'm gonna leave my little bird birdie birdhouse there and then I'm gonna slip the brown cardstock in there so that I get the placement just right because I want it like I said I want it to frame the birdhouse. So try to keep that right there and then precisely stick that right there. Yeah, can you believe that 45 minutes has already gone by? Um, I can work on, I could, I could really do these books like all day, every day. I could do a total week long junk journal, scrapbooking, paper crafting retreat and be very content to just hang out with the girls and use up some my stash. It just, nothing makes me more happy than to have girl time and share ideas and all that jazz. So thanks for being here, all of you guys. Um, if you're not following my page, I'd be totally honored if you would. Um, and you're more than welcome to check out my shop at thecomfynestwithgrace.com. You can also, if you're interested, sign up for, <laughs> this is coming out so slow, sign up for the membership group if you want. And you can always reach out to me if you have like questions about any of that stuff. I'm gonna double glue here because I was really having trouble getting that glue out. So let's just make sure we're gonna really stick this thing down. We're gonna put some permanent glue on that side. This is just one page where I'm taking the scraps that I have left. So here's our tab binding book, there's the cover. And then I just so far just have decorated that one page. And of course, when you make your books, you can write in them, you can make all of the pages blank and, and, and just plain. So there's room to write in them. I like using my decorative papers up. So I make the books out of the, oh, it's upside down, out of the decorative papers. So that was the point of today. Um, but you could you could include in there some blank pages so that you can write or draw or do whatever you want in them. So there you have it. Um, the ATC challenge, the artist trading card challenge. We did that a while ago. Yeah, the artist trading card challenge. That was really fun. Yeah, I did a workshop showing how to decorate the artist trading cards. And then we did an artist trading card swap we swapped them between each other. We did a secret sister swap that was totally optional. Thanks for loving the book, Rita. You guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for your time. I would just be so cheesed and appreciate it very much if you would hit the like button. I'm not getting a lot of likes on my videos, which really like kind of tanks our, um, our ability to be seen by other people. So if you don't mind, just take that quick second and hit the like button. Or of course, you can spread it out there if you want to. Um, message me if you have any questions and I will catch you next time here at The Confidence with Grace. Bye.